Hi, welcome to the Resources Roadhouse. I'm Wally Graham and I'm at the 2019 New Worlds Metals Conference here in Perth. And I'm with Bill Johnson, who's Minister for Mines and Petroleum, Energy and Industrial Relations here in WA. Uh, now, Bill, um, I was just listening to you talking there and it's just, uh, just made me think that you seem to be in a really good position as far as Ministers for Mines and Resources <laughs> have been in the uh, yeah. years. It's quite an exciting time to be Minister for this particular sector. Um, especially with all the advances in the batteries and, uh, and the, uh, 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 the renewable energy um, field. Um, look, I've, it's not me to talk about it. I'll let you um, sure. expand on it, that. It's great. Yes, it is a, a great time to be uh, Ministers for Resources in the world's number one resources jurisdiction. I'm always very pleased to do that. Um, and Minister for Energy at a time when the energy sector is really uh, revolutionising itself with new technology. Uh, And, you know, Western Australia, we've got more people working in our industry than we've had at any time in the past. We've more uh, metres drilled uh, in the last financial year than ever before uh, and looking for lots of different materials. And and a lot of that money is going into looking for uh, battery materials, including nickel. And, you know, the fact that you've got a major like BHP out there looking for nickel... Isn't that fabulous? Yeah, yeah. And so, just to sort of touch on a couple of the points in your, your talk there, you're saying about the um, the possibility of the, the downstreaming, the, the, yeah. the, that sort of thing, and uh, the advancement of the technologies that's, that that are coming out of uh, not only WA but South Australia and Queensland as well. Yeah. Um, the downstream, the downstreaming oh, thing. Let's sure. touch on that to start with. Yeah. Uh, what um, well, what chances do we have of seeing that? Yeah. Look, it's actually pretty good. Um, it, it, there, there are a number of chemical processing steps before you get a, a, a mineral ready to go into a battery. So the batteries themselves will probably continue to be made uh, closer to the end market, but those chemical steps, there's a real opportunity in Western Australia. Uh, we provide, um, you know, firstly because an investor will be able to make money, which is obviously very important, but secondly we provide a strategic advantage in managing people's supply chain risks and their political risks uh, compared to other markets. So it's not a uh, uh, saying that uh, other countries won't have a major role to play in the processing industry, but that we'll also have a, a potential role to play. Yeah, yeah. And that'll be just advantageous you know, for not only the state, the industry, everybody involved, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Yes, it's good for the end users because they then have multiple supply chains uh, and, uh, uh, you know, they can keep, they can spread their risks around from uh, just, you know, one supply path to a multiple supply path. Uh, it's logical for them because they can effectively reduce their transport costs because if you transport a, a more elaborately transformed material, then by definition the transport cost remains the same but the, yeah. the, the proportion of your cost is down. Uh, the next thing, of course, is that um, uh, you know, we're familiar with all the chemical industries, so this is a, a state that uh, you don't have some of the same pressures that more settled population areas do, mm-hmm. and so you can have uh, that uh, continued processing here in Western Australia. Right, and and just that other point that I, um, I was wanting to pick up, you were saying in there that um, okay, so we might get a battery that's made in South Korea, we sure. might get a, uh, a solar, panel, a solar yeah. panel that's made somewhere else, but yeah. they come over here and they're brought together yes. using technology that is actually right. being developed here. That's correct. So if you think about the iPhone, 87% of the value of the iPhone is the software and. 13% is the manufacturing. So it's a bit the same in the electricity system. Getting the solar panel and the battery to work together so that everything comes out okay, uh, that's actually being solved here in Australia first because we're the ones with the largest penetration of these types of technologies. So people are literally coming from all around the globe to see how we're doing this in Australia. Uh, and that's good because we're actually developing those technologies here in WA, in in Australia. It's fabulous. Yeah, I'm, I'm an old-fashioned guy, so I was actually watching television last oh, night. Oh, wow, OK. And um, there was, a, uh, on one particular program, there was somebody um, speaking and saying that, you know, that Australia is actually, well, we're back in the position of leading the world in this sort of uh, yeah. technology. You know, we, we were for a while then we lapsed um, because of certain decisions being made, but now that we're yeah. we're starting to, you know, regain ground, so to speak. That's correct. And, and, you know, it's incredibly complicated. So if you think of the big grids that supply electricity, they are unbelievable machines and they're very 
uh, highly um, dependent on it on one part to another. So if you introduce new technologies like renewable energy, it actually fundamentally changes the way the entire system works together. And so in Australia, we've reached the point where uh, the, the, the rise of renewable energy is having a direct impact on the way the grid itself operates together as a system. And so because we've got there first, we're the first ones solving that problem. See, in Germany, people say, oh, Germany's got a lot of renewables, but they can rely on the support of France right. to get their power system stabilised. Well, we don't have that joy. Yeah. So we have to do it ourselves. And then because Western Australia has more electricity consumed not through an electricity grid, either remote communities or mining projects, uh, we're the place where people are applying uh, renewable technologies to individual yeah. projects. And use the Agnew one, the Agnew gold mine, uh, they, they will have 70% of their total energy needs provided by renewable energy within, you know, by the middle of next year. Right, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Because mm. I, I was just sort of thinking, like, a lot of people have probably seem to be... Um, or worried, scared, whatever you want to term you use, about uh, how the renewables are going to f- you know, are fitting into the, yes. the grid. There seems to be some sort of, oh, no, the, the, the renewables are going to blow it up. <coughs> but yeah. the, but uh, that's, uh, that's <laughs> well, really not the, it's, the truth, is it? No, <laughs> it's a bit more complicated because the renewable energy makes management of the grid much more complicated. You, ha- you have to intervene in managing it much more directly than you do in traditional systems. Of course, the best way to do that is through automation and, and uh, com- you know, using technology to sort that problem out. But that's happening here in Australia. Right. So within, you know, a very short period of time, you'll see uh, technology being applied to the system to make it stable, even though you're using unstable energy sources. Yeah, we're good at uh, solving problems, so we're sort of, yeah. we're basically, um, to... Uh provide an analogy we're, we're putting the, the stump jump plough through the, uh, exactly right. the electricity grid at the moment absolutely and you know yeah. the Western Australia you know I'm, I'm sure other ministers will speak for their own states but the great thing about Western Australia is if you've got a complicated problem this is a good place to come to solve it you, you'll find somebody with an idea of how to solve your problem yeah. and, and of course that's generally in the mining industry but in other industries as well um, you know we, we are an innovative community because we're isolated we, we need to sort things out ourselves and our engineers uh, the fact that you know you can go to Africa you can go to South America you go to North America and you'll see Australian uh, West Australian mining engineers and mine managers running the show yeah. and the fact that uh, you know wherever you've got a difficult project mining project anywhere in the world it's probably a West Perth company that's getting the uh, capital together to yeah, exploit that resource. get it off the ground yeah mm. All right. Well, well, Bill, thank you very much for no joining worries. us here at the Roadhouse today. appreciate your time. And, um, well, all, all the best for the season of festivals and thank all you. the rest of it. And, and hope you have a, a great new year. And I, yep. just, I think just I, eight I, school graduations till Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Enough, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, I think I might have to go and um, look into some solar panels for the house. Excellent. Good idea. Terrific. Thanks thank very you very much, much, Bill. Good to see you.